So what are some of your upcoming projects? Oh, I am working on great music right now in the studio, several different rappers. Um, I'm doing an EDM track and I'm doing R&B track. I'm going all over the place again. <laughs> so are any work. of the rappers like local artists or they're someone else? Yes, actually I just did a song with Bay Blue and he's got that song from Donna. <laughs> okay. He's lit, he's pretty lit, he's very humble. And JR the Superstar, some other artists. Mm -hmm. um, I'll go Despacito, I'm gonna work with for a single and he is from Angola. So I'm very excited okay. about that. Some Afro pop, it's gonna be lit. All right, <laughs> that's really good. And it's really good that you're connecting with local artists as well. Absolutely. If, Music if you're invincible. Yeah. Oh my gosh. gosh. I've been quarantined. <laughs> huh. Having What's the Teen Talk fam. Today What's joining up? us is Little Rook. Um, can you go ahead and just tell us about yourself? You um, know, tell our fam. A uh, singer, songwriter. Um, I write my own music. I'm working right now in the studio with a new track. And, and I got so much new music coming. I just released a song called Insane and Miami Floozy. New 2020. Okay. Go ahead. Time to around. meditate and think and pray. Um, it's actually been good for my mental health. To think. What have you been studying? Um, I actually just read about uh, James Dean. I've been really uh, studying James Dean. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So, Sparring. Just around the world and different mm -hmm. things. I really was going to go to Jamaica at this time, actually, to do a show. So I've been studying more about Jamaica. Three words to describe you as an artist. Three words. Sexy. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> um, I would say freedom fighter. Mm -hmm. I guess that can be one word, right? Freedom yes. fighter. Um, hippie. Feminist. Feminist? And yes. why do you consider yourself a feminist? Um, because I think it's very, very important to have equality and to stand for women around the world. Okay. So how has your music elevated since the last time we spoke? How has it elevated? Oh. It's louder now. Mm -hmm. Probably more of a thought when you're hey, in the You car. know what? 2020, a brand new year for some brand new blessings. Exactly, yeah. We got to stay positive and happy. And yes. When this storm is over, they're going to need new artists and music and... It's time to be positive and, you know, start music can never go away. It makes the world a better place. Right. And it's getting me through this quarantine, too. What music. advice would you give to any upcoming artist? What advice? Um, to believe in yourself, hold on to the ride, and to Thank you. have thick skin and not be scared. Why do you be say strong. thick skin? Because to be an artist, you have to deal with so much hate and negativity mm -hmm. and, you know, the have world. Very thick skin. You have to be like a piranha in shock infested waters to really survive. Yeah. It's it's a hard life <laughs> to be an it's artist. The way of the world. Yeah, the right. It's the way of the world. We just need to have thick skin. Yeah. So who so who is somebody that inspires you creatively? Oh, Aretha Franklin. Um, she has inspired me since I was born. Actually, she was being played while I was being delivered in the hospital. I think I always say this. So I'm always inspired by Aretha Franklin. Really? I love her. Yes, yes. That's really good. Like, and Donna been... Summer. I've been listening to Donna Summer's whole album really? during this quarantine. <laughs> so she was Sorry, just like, Donna just Donna going Summer. through the memories or like something new? Are you just going as through memories? As far as Donna Summer? Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to surf and, you know, go back in time and change my persona <laughs> a little bit. And okay. um, just see the history of music and disco music and pop culture, hip hop culture, R&B soul, just to, you know, study the greats. So you're always joining us, um, Teen Talk, whether it's on Instagram or live in the studio. I just want to know what is your favorite part? About Teen Talk? Yes. A good memory? I think, I think it was a few years back, the Martin Luther King Parade. It was so much fun. It was really? a blast. And that's really when I connected to Teen Talk and talked mm -hmm. to everyone and took photos and everybody was so welcoming to me and really supported uh, the local music. Because there's not a lot of stations who play artists and it's very hard to get out there. And you guys just open the door. And of course, you'll- That's you a Teen Talk way. way back. And you've always been really nice to me. So I appreciate you guys all that 88.1 And we appreciate you being a loyal Teen Talk family member. It doesn't matter what we're doing. You're always commenting. You're always sharing our things. Like, I just want to say thank to, you so much. You guys support everyone. You really do. And we are so thankful as artists for you, you know? Aw, thank you. So, 